Hello everybody. So I have a little bit of time now. It's the break for three weeks during New Year's. So I think I'm going to finally post a few videos. So since my biggest obsessions is electric cars, renewable energy, and batteries. So I'm going to try and simplify this for people who are not nerdy enough to learn about it like I have. All right, here you have what I'm going to represent by as your battery. You've all seen this on your phones uh, or whatever. Um, in the 1980s, the chemistry in there would get stuck and it was bad to stop using your phone halfway or recharge your not your phone, your toys or whatever. But we don't work in lead acid batteries anymore. We have lithium ion. Lithium ion is not only different from lead acid, but it's also different from what it was even just 10 years ago. So lithium ion batteries are a different chemistry and they, there's no memory. It's just charged up particles uh, traveling to the other side to bloop, discharge so that the electrons can travel the circuit. And if you come down to, you know, half full or whatever and charge it back up, no real damage. The only damage that happens with lithium ion batteries is that when you run them a full cycle, that sort of wears down their capacity and they can only run full cycle so many times. So the best thing to do is to limit the number of full cycles. And if you're driving an electric car or whatever with your phone, the ideal conditions would just be to kind of float around in this 60 to 80 percent as much as possible. It's another one of those 80-20 kind of rules. Because then you're never really draining the battery and you're never topping it up and then losing. But since we can't just live in that 60 to 80 percent battery life, the best thing you can do for your phone, especially say if you have a laptop, is to leave it plugged in all the time. Now, that'll mean that it has to sit at 100%, but that's not nearly as damaging as charging up to 100% and draining it through a cycle and up and down through cycling. Uh, battery life, especially lithium ion, uh, the most current up-to-date uh, ubiquitous battery, lithium ion, um, only has so many cycle life, so life cycles. So the thing to do is to leave it charged all the time. Leave it plugged in all the time so that it's not dropping and draining and running through any kind of cycles. That's the best thing to do. Now with a car, it will automatically be able to let you set it up so that you can float in this 60 to 80% range if your trips are short enough. But with a phone and a laptop, just leave it plugged in as much as possible. Okay, now you have the information and you didn't have to do anything really nerdy. Just listen to the ideas that it's better to leave your phone or your laptop just plugged in all the time. It's just better for the battery not to run through cycles. You're welcome.